Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Fiat Ducato van. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2.3 Multijet 35 Technico LH2 EU6 engine. 2,287cc. 2019 on a 69 plate. One owner. It's got a fantastic specification. Has done 5,567 miles. A couple of other things, it has LED interior lighting in the load space. It's also got uh, plates, reinforced plates around the driver's door lock and also the, uh, the rear doors and there's an extra security lock on too. So there's the Fiat key and that's the key for the security lock. Uh, I, won't, I won't show it too long because these days people can cut keys off a off a photo on the internet so uh, we'll, we'll try not to do that hopefully the sound will be okay today I've had a couple of problems with uh, the sick in St. George's Hospital was with these as you can see the battery flaps broken and they're now held on by tire apps that's 250 quid that's 250 quid and I've decided to buy these which I thought would be a great idea so if you see one of these popping out my shirt, it's not a mouse going down my, going down my, my neck. It's uh, what they call a dead cat to silence wind noise. Um, another slight problem, of course, is that goes just in the same place as my uh, crucifix is and tends to rattle on it. So uh, <laughs> try, trying to improve the audio, I may actually have... Uh, made it worse right okay first warning uh, when you get out of one of these you have to make sure you stand on the step then get out if you do as i do and slide off the seat you tend to do yourself an injury on the handbrake which is down here on the right and uh it hurts i'll tell you it's uh it, it's not nice right okay let's go lovely van that's the other thing um, if you're uh, if you're quite tall you do have to make sure you let the handbrake off all the way down which means going to there for me so uh, it's, I don't I don't think the handbrake on that side is one of the best ideas but it's something you get used to the uh, we had a well, we had three Citroen vans in last last week with a high roof, and the, the phones were on fire. Um, everybody wanting to make camper vans or convert them into camper vans or day vans, and this is ideal for that. It's lovely and clean. The guy that owns this treats his vans like he treats his car, and he and he he treats his car like he treat a baby it's absolutely mint it's only done 5,500 miles anyway so uh, you'd expect it to be absolutely mint but um, it's uh, even his older vehicles they've been so well looked after we could be here for a while our Tories We say vans drive so good these days. It would be no hardship to use them every day. They're fast, they're economical. There's plenty of space here. Nice bench seat, plenty of room across the uh, the front seat. The mirrors, uh, I particularly like the mirrors on this vehicle because you've got your, well first of all, they will fold in. But the second thing is, they're actually split and where most of the mirrors at the bottom on vans are static, 
in these if you turn the control round to the bottom there hopefully you'll be able to see I can control that bottom mirror and also I can control that bottom mirror so you can set it to see the curbs and uh, and also there's uh, there's a, a, a chap I suppose the, the word cycle but he, he's uh, he's got a back injury and it's a three wheel tricycle but it's about that high off the ground it's very very low to the ground and uh, when I was when I was photographing one of these a, a few weeks ago I was just about to get out and he was uh, he was overtaking um, I was stopped to the side and I saw him down there which is uh, I don't think I'd have seen him otherwise, and I'd have, I'd have whacked him. And I'm pretty sure he'd have whacked me too. I mean, this is lovely. There's loads of room in the back. I did take measurements before I, uh, before I came out, so I'll cut the video of the, the tape measure in so you know how big it is in the back and uh, actually I'm going to have to do one more measurement I forgot to do the height I've, I've done the length and the width lovely and clean in the back it's, it's ply line too there's uh, side protectors plastic side protectors up uh, up the vehicle there's rear parking sensors it's got a um, tow bar sat now bluetooth hands-free bluetooth audio streaming cup holders down here two door pockets i mean the bottom door pocket it, you you couldn't reach really and that's only for kind of documents then you, you've got this thing here that flips up to put a clipboard um I, to, i've got to be honest i think that's probably a silly idea as well but um anyway Another cup holder there. This centre panel here comes down like so, and there's another clipboard in there. That's a, that's a clipboard. We've got aircon. The aircon's icy cold. Cruise control just here. Um, I'm not sure whether it's a speed limiter too. I should have checked. I think it is. Yep, looks like it's two positions turn up that's cruise control turn down is yeah speed speed limiter and then the sensors off great it's a, it's a great driving position um, my elbow just elbow to fingertips just the right size for from the armrest Dead easy to change gear. Nice clutch. Bit telephone controls on the steering wheel. Also volume for your radio and audio streaming. I'll just the sounds pretty good in here too. Hey Siri, play music. Okay, so that's on now. We'll just get on the motorway first. And then, if I click media there, it goes onto my phone. So that's the audio streaming. Turn cruise on, so cruise there, set it by clicking up. It's cruise control on, we'll get up to 70. Got a, got a bit of a turn of speed as well, mid range there. 
So 70 miles an hour there, two and a half thousand revs. In, we're just going over 70, just knock it down. Two and a half thousand revs, 2,400 2, revs there or thereabouts. Nice and quiet with a bulkhead. Nice and easy to keep this area cool or, or warm, depending on what you want. And it keeps all the sound out from the back. Slow it down here while we're merging. There we go. We've got a, a reach adjustable steering wheel as well. Now there's two thing, two things on the seat here which I'm not not sure what. I think I think that's height adjustment, but uh, I should have checked before we set off. telling me to when I should change gear on the dash there and also if you press the end of the uh, wiper stalk in there instantaneous consumption average speed travel time trip distance average consumption so you've got all, all the stuff you need left hand side is speedo information display at the top in the middle on the left, fuel gauge. In the middle on the right is your coolant temperature gauge. And uh, on the right hand side is a rev counter. Indicators and light switches are, are there. And uh, as, as I say, nice and comfortable seats. I should perhaps have gone past these uh, these trucks here, but not in a hurry today. Ah. <laughs> On reflection, I should definitely have gone past these trucks. They're uh, coming off this junction too. Please don't go my way. Please don't go my way. <laughs> going my way. He's going my way in both lanes. <laughs> that also keeps bonging every so often and I'm assuming that it's um, a speed camera warning. It looks like something off Thunderbirds. second great <laughs> great steering on the Vans really do amaze me these days compared to what they used to be like. It's a real good gearbox. I do always criticise people for picking the lane too soon, but I'm going off right on this dual carriageway. And if you get over in the left lane, the traffic up here is flying up and you, you can't pull across, so 
you've got to slow everybody down behind you. There we go. And then let them fly off. When we get back, I'll show you how to pair a mobile, how to delete a mobile, how to set the sat nav, and also how to stream audio. But um, as I say, this would make an absolutely ideal camper van. Lots of space in the back. Great to drive. So I'll just show you the sat nav. Is that the sat nav in the centre there? Sat nav, and that will be view map. So touch screen. Lovely vehicle. I have got uh, a couple more vehicles in that I need to video as soon as possible, hopefully this week. I think we've got an Audi A3S line, great value car. We can't believe how cheap it is. We've got a Honda Civic diesel, um, line me a Land Rover Freelander, and we've been well. The motor trade's gone completely mad with a couple of cars that we actually fancied buying ourselves and um, obviously we work off normally two valuation systems, Auto Trader. Auto Trader seem to be more biased towards the customer, um, plus it's a, a kind of a transparent way of dealing. You can check online to see that we're not trying to nick your car and we also deal with CAM. And uh, two cars we were looking at. One was a Range Rover uh, for me, which I specifically wanted, and it went for three thousand pounds over trade. There's a shortage of cars at the moment, and another one was a Porsche, and the Porsche went for three thousand pounds over trade. So it's very very difficult to to buy stuff at the moment. Um, if I, if I've still got it, I'll, I'll just. I'll cut a live chat that I had the other day. A chap offered us uh, 2,000 pounds less than the asking price and uh, said, you know, we, we refused and he, he got the hump. Um, and after, after John refused by email and then he tried again by live chat and I refused. And he said um, that when he negotiates, uh, he does it from his starting position, or words to that effect. Well, fair enough, but it doesn't mean to say that we do it from his starting position. And it's so difficult to get cars at good prices. We're not greedy at all. There's, there's no way we'd be able to knock two thousand pounds off anything because we don't have two thousand pounds in anything. So. You know, if you want a deal, don't talk to us like we just, we, we're trying to rip you off because we're not. And if we can possibly do a deal with you or for you, we'll do it. But if you make it impossible to start off with, we haven't got the time to waste trying to bridge a massive gap. We, I know by experience and all my years in the motor trade, it's a waste of time trying because 
people that do that will never be happy no matter what you do and there will always be trouble in the future. The best thing about not working for other people is you can decide who you want to deal with. And uh, we only want to deal with people we like dealing with. So, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Great van, but as you'd expect, 5,000 miles. It's, uh, it's like brand new. And as I say, the, the previous owner will have uh, mollycoddled it to start off with. See you in the next video, thank you.